Good evening class, this is Michael Cruz with my week nine video response for our discussion board. Um, I hope everyone is finishing this course strong, not getting too stressed out for the last assignment, and uh, just wish you the best of luck. It was a great time being in this class with you all. But to answer tonight's questions, what are the key components that evaluate a good physical education slash sport program to a great one? What components are you currently missing in your program? So Lund and Tannehill, they referenced the book Good to Great by Jim Collins. And in Jim Collins' book, he identifies three areas that a great company um, does really well and is, you know, three aspects that mark a great company or a great organization. And those include the company's profits exceed the gains of the stock market, the company made an impact on society, and the company was concerned about employee welfare. Um, so I think the three of these things can actually translate into evaluating a great physical education or sports team as well. When I think about the first one, you know, it's talking more about finances and you can't always mark um, a sports team or a physical education class by uh, their responsibility and their their balance sheet, but um, but you know in in some cases in all cases you can still instill um, the people of the organization with responsibility over the resources that they do have. So you know helping them be good stewards of whether that's gear, equipment, um, uniforms, you know whatever it might be, facilities. You know, you're being a good steward over those things and, and you're doing that as an organization as a whole. Um, with the second one, you know, you're having an impact on society. I think giving back, getting creative with, whether that's field trips for a physical education course or giving back to society through community service with a sports team. Um, and then to go hand in hand with that, the third one, you know, your class or your sports team being concerned about the welfare of, you know, the, the members. So, um, you know, you're, you're engaging the whole person when someone is on your sports team or in your physical education class. And, you know, you're more concerned, you're, you're concerned more about the person, you know, and, and the soul rather than just um, the athlete or the physical education student um, you know you're looking at developing people helping them be leaders helping them be responsible and, and really grow and develop to be a productive um, responsible citizen in our in our society um, and I think to go hand in hand with that you're having an impact on society by doing that as well teaching good values um, and tying them in with your course or with your sports team um, so you know all Three of those things can be definitely marks of a good, of a great uh, physical education or sports team. Uh, to answer the second question, what was my program missing? Um, you know, when looking at the list of qualities that can move, you know, a curriculum from good to great, uh, the, the two things that kind of stood out to me, after, especially after doing my case study, were um, there's a slow and steady progress toward the final goal. I think in my case study, I think I um, started things a little too quickly and I could have eased the progression a little bit more, slowed th things down a bit. I felt like since I only had six weeks, I had to kind of cram it in, but I think looking back, you know, I didn't necessarily have to do that. Um, so just slowing down with the lessons and the overall um, unit. And then the second thing would be technology and just improving the technology. I was uh, using you know, a phone or a computer to uh, video my case study uh, participant. And you know, that, that's definitely technology being used, but I think to improve that, I know there's uh, software out there that analyze specifically um, baseball hitters and baseball pitchers and their movements to really break down mechanics and you know, do split screens and, and see your good mechanics compared to bad mechanics or see a, a pro baseball player go through his mechanics side by side your mechanics to see you know the differences and, and kind of learn visually as well so I think that's something else I could have uh, improved on in my program and two things that I'll look to do in the future um, so that's that for tonight thanks for listening um, 
again, best of luck to the last couple of days of the course. It was uh, great learning from you all, and I look forward to continued relationships with all of you and hope to meet you know all of you in person one day and, and um, kind of grow in what we've done in this class. But thank you again for uh, everything you've done over the next over the last nine weeks, and um, let's go get them. Last couple of days. Here we go. Thanks. Bye.